we are back. Bucket and Benson joined now by one of my favorite people from the Rocket League community. We got Cloud Fuel on the line tonight. Cloud, um, first off, tell, tell the world a little bit about yourself. How did you get into Rocket League, man? Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, it's, it's an honor. Um, so I got started with Rocket League back uh, in the days of the second beta and just saw a lot of potential with the game, fell in love with it, and tried to help as much as I could in pretty much every avenue possible. So I've kind of been all over the place, to be honest with you. I started a website, uh, joined with another group. Um, I've helped a couple of uh, organizations such as MLG, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just trying to help yeah, as yeah. much as I can to expand the scene. You've been, you do, been doing a great job, and most of it's been behind the scenes. What, awesome what's, job. What's the... Uh, What's the day job? I don't want to get you fired from anywhere, but I know you've been putting in hours upon hours upon hours, all while simultaneously going on your nine to five. What do you do on it for a daily basis? Yeah. Um, okay. So I, I work in logistics and uh, customer service for an oil and gas company. So it kind of flows into this with the analysis and reports that I do that on a daily sense. basis. So, good. so I kind of have that background. <laughs> we'll click um, and yeah, I somehow find time to fit in everything I'm doing with Rocket League between that. Um, I do have two kids, a wife, um, a ton of animals in our house, and somehow still find time to play, even with what all a, of that. What, what, wait, what, what, what animals do you have? <laughs> um, okay, so we have three cats, okay. we have a dog, we have six ducks. Six what? ducks? Uh, yeah, like... that's the wife. She <laughs> She's a fan of animals. She that's She's awesome. kind of like a closet vet. Like okay. She can't really I like handle it. the. Uh, she can't really handle like the veteran, you know, veterinarian surgery type stuff. So she just hoards animals, basically. Hoards hey, animals. If you if you can save them, you might as well keep them. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Essentially. <laughs> so <laughs> collect you, all the animals. You got right. a packed house, but you're still somehow able to play as well as watch all of our matches and keep track of How all the stats. That? That's impressive. I honestly don't know. If, if, if I had that many animals, I'd be I'd be driving myself crazy. <laughs> I can barely show up to work on time. Uh, Cloud Fuel, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the numbers, though. You've been compiling statistics for all of the matches throughout the Pro League so far. Is there any statistic that stands out to you up to this point? Is there any one player that you feel is outshining everyone else? There's, there's quite a few things that I've noticed. That's kind of why I started doing this, because I wanted to see if there was a trend, if there was any kind of variance I could find. And there's a couple things. Um, one of them you actually touched on, Benson, about the shots um, per team versus who wins. And I don't have the numbers just yet because I'm still working on it. But I'm seeing like probably 90% of the time when you have more shots, you're going to win. Makes and that's sense. just, I mean, I guess the best kind of defense is a solid offense. The more you keep the ball on the opponent's side, the less likely you are to have it on your side and thus you know, be susceptible to getting scored on. So that's one thing that right off the bat stands out. And so like a team like Flipside Tactics, with all three of those guys being able to consistently shoot the ball, um, I mean, it's really tough to go against them. Um, the other thing I've noticed is a lot of the players have a lot of variance. Like in with when you look at each game in particular, you'll see sometimes like Kronovi's at the top, and then he's second, and then he's third. And like he, he kind of goes all over the place, as does every other player. So there's no... There's not really a lot of consistency other than certain players that are strictly defensive roles. They typically have more saves than everybody else. But from what I'm seeing, it's more so about the chemistry of the team. It's more so about the camaraderie than anything else. Because all these players have the skill to some degree. Right. But the teams that don't play together as often, like Kings of Urban, for example, they've kind of been, um, you know, They've kind of been branded with, you know, the fact that they haven't been playing as much together. You know, teams that do play together, like Cosmic Aftershock, who played as a team for about a year before the game even came out. I mean, they have such an advantage against everybody else. I was, was going to ask you, looking at the play styles, you, you've watched several weeks now of Rocket League here on MLG. Who's got the best play style, man? Do the numbers point to any one team having kind of, a, I guess, the numbers behind them coming into the playoffs now? Yeah. Yeah. I think... I think honestly, it comes down to who, which team is the most versatile, because it depends on the situation. Like we know that Flipside Tactics and Swarm Gaming, uh, they're extremely aggressive, and they have the ability to just come in with an onslaught of, of shots all the time. But at the same time, they're able to flip back and defend whenever is needed. 
I mean, if you look at the amount of saves that they have, sure, as an individual, you don't see anybody with as many saves as, say, a not valid from Air Force Two or Gibbs or some of the other defensive style players. Right. However, they still are up there with, with saves. So they're still getting a, a significant amount of saves. So they're able to, to basically formulate and run their team based on what their opponent's doing. Um, being able to be versatile in the game itself, because you never know what your opponent's going to come out with, I think is honestly the most crucial thing. One question I have is if you were to give kind of like a mid-season MVP based on the numbers, who do you give it to? Because when I had a look, if I, I, I'm going to wait for you to say I don't, yeah. don't want to influence you in yeah. any way. Who, who would you give mid-season MVP to? Oh, man. It's tough, That's huh? a tough one. Because um, I, I look at a lot of things. I look at the amount of games played. You know, right. some players like Godlight and Killer Number 7 have played 24 games already. And then you've got a guy... Um, that you know like Licinio, who just showed up for the first time last night that's the first time that that we've seen him um play at all so you have to kind of take some of that into consideration you can't just look at the total numbers overall Fair enough. but i think when you look at the averages it's hard not to say Kronovi is is an absolute top player because he leads or is in the top on almost every single statistic um but he's kind of an easy one to pick. So I'd like to go with somebody who's a little bit less easy to go with. And I think Gambit for sure is somebody that's up there that consistently across the board has good numbers. Mm -hmm. um, he'd be another kind of easy favorite. And the um, the other one that I would go with is probably like Waffle. Waffle? He could, yeah. Really? He could I feel like he doesn't if, get if enough across the board. Yeah, if you look across the board, um, when I'm looking at averages specifically – he tends to be right at that one average for every single statistic and even upwards of four shots per game. Um, when you look at just the shots per game, and I think that truly is a telling sign, mm -hmm. Gambit right now, and I don't have the stats from tonight to, to add to it, Gambit's leading the pack at 4.92 shots per game. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty he impressive. Has, he has a yeah. lot. I, I feel I mean, like that's, tonight is going to drop those numbers yeah. drastically. Drastically, uh, yeah. Yeah, it will. And And – when you look at his goals to shot percentage, you see that he's only at about 25%, which tells you he's getting a lot of shots, but he's not scoring as often. Now, that could be, you know, he's not getting the perfect angle or he's going up against a strong defense. Whatever the case is, he's still putting the ball on their side more often than, you know, not. So that's something that I feel is is absolutely key. I feel like just pressure. Um, and then the last pressure one I would mention good. is Passion 90. I mean, you got to give it to him. That guy yeah. is on fire all the time. He's so good. I, I, I love it. But going back to the, the kind of shot percentage, you, you're so right. Just even if it is low, just by putting pressure on the opposite team, it, it goes back to your kind of original point where, you know, the ball's on the other team's half. Guess what? It's a better thing. Like, it, you're more Absolutely. likely to score. It really is that simple. Uh, but in terms of the, the league right now, am I still right in assuming Kronovi has the highest shot per goal percentage ratio? I think it's like 49. He... Right now, I'm showing 41.67, and that 41. does include That last dropped night's after games. last night. Yeah. It did drop after last night's game. Supersonic Stars with Sicky CEM in there. That guy oh. was phenomenal. He did a really good job for them um, on defense. So that definitely did drop a little bit. Right now, actually, I'm showing Skyline, newcomer. Okay. 42.31% uh, out of 12 games. From Shizu, so, right? Yeah. For Shizu. Yeah. yeah. Skyline, a great Skyline's new addition. Skyline's showing up pretty well recently Damn. um you've also got sad jr up there but he's only had six games so you know not as much of a number to go off of Good and marky Duda at 41.86 percent okay interesting now uh, you were talking about waffle waffles just scored a goal actually for vq so. yeah so we're watching air force two we're watching vq untethered number one versus number five in division two what are Air Force Two's chances of taking a game tonight? And if they are going to win one, who's our player to look out for? Because it looks like uh, Tim Bob is going to be in instead of Dig Dog tonight. Yeah, he'll be in tonight for Dig Dog. Um, not a fan of being a downer on teams. I love Air Force Two. Um, they're one of the first teams that I saw. Dig Dog 22 being one of the first players I ever met. So, I mean, I'm always pulling for those guys. Yep. But unfortunately, they just haven't been getting it done lately. What? And Why I is don't that? see them beating a team like VQ Untethered, who has been consistently getting better and better. They went from being a team that would take a game off of Cosmic every now and then to consistently competing with them and even beating them sometimes. So 
I think with the role that VQ is on, they're they're going in two different paths. VQ is consistently heading up, and Air Force Two has been tumbling. Um, we actually do a, a bit of a power rankings thing that we've been doing lately. Uh, it's a committee of us, and unfortunately, we've seen Air Force Two go from being in the top ten to completely dropping out of it. So until they can figure out as a team what they need to do to get better, I, I don't see them being able to take a game off of Untethered. Are there some other teams that we should be looking out for? You said you have your committee. Who do you yeah. think we could be looking at if there's a Pro League Season 2? Okay, yeah. So it's actually uh, myself, Gibbs, um, Shalthus, uh, Steve Perry, a, a caster yep. known in the community, SL Express, who you've interviewed before, um, and Doomsie from uh, Team Rocket. And we do a, a power ranking every week, and we you know put that information out there. Uh, based on what's happened in the previous week, either from your events, ESL, Gfinity, and various others. And consistently, we're seeing a couple teams kind of come out of nowhere. Um, from the North American side, I would say Orange Creamsicle has kind of come out, and they've actually beaten teams like Perfect Storm and, and Mad Magic, who just became Defoid Gaming. Mm -hmm. um, so they're one, for sure, that I would say to, to look out for. Um, you always have the... Uh, Who's on Creamsicle? Do you, do you remember any of their names? Yeah, I've got uh, the information actually right here. Um, I know Quinn Lobdell is one of their players. Um, Enigma Please, great name, uh, is another <laughs> one of their players. Um, and I would have to pull up the rest to see no uh, worries. who the third was. But yeah, they're, they're definitely a team that I've seen kind of come in and consistently um, on the ESL, ESL side, they've been... Um, in the top, and they're actually in the running for the monthly final over there. So they're, they're doing pretty good work on the NA side. What and about then the on the EU side, obviously, yeah. Team Rocket's a, a high favorite. They unfortunately didn't do so well in the qualifier, but since then, uh, I think they've just kind of gone on a tear. Um, I know they picked up a coach, uh, a guy that's, that's kind of in the community that's been analyzing what they do and how they do it, and since then, I mean, they have drastically improved. They're getting consistently up in like the top three area, so I think there'd be they would be another one to look at. Rocket has a coach. I love That's that. Right. Rocket League becoming an official esport. We're making it <laughs> happen, boys and girls. Yeah. Uh, in this game, a quick update: three zero in favor of Vanquished on Tethered. No surprise. And you can see Air Force Two. Honestly, I am surprised that they've kept it to three. Uh, I mean, Tim Bob just got five shots on goal. That, That's gonna help his stats. That, that was weird. Sure. Did that even did that register in the game? It did register yep. in the game. That was very strange. He's got seven shots on goal now. I have no idea how that just happened. Hey. Uh, but kind of going back to Air Force Two a little bit, Cloud Fuel. You said how you know right now they're falling out of the power rankings. What what is it like? What is the reason that that is happening? Well, from what I've seen stats wise, uh, consistently they're not getting the shots on goal. They're almost always in a defensive struggle. Not so much that it's a close game, but that they're always on defense. They're fighting for their lives almost. Mm -hmm. So having somebody like Tim Bob, it sounds like he's doing well tonight. Um, you know, having anybody that's able to go in and consistently get the ball on that side really makes a big difference. So far, they haven't been doing that. Uh, you know, part of that is the teams that they're going up against. But even in some of the other tournaments where they're not facing the highest of competition, they're struggling. And I think it might be a mixture of a couple things. I think that they haven't really found a clear identity as a team. And um, I think the other thing is that they haven't formed that camaraderie that they need. Um, I know that Dig Dog 22 has kind of crazy hours with his job, so that hinders things somewhat. So I think as a team, they just need to come together and really work on getting aggressive. They really don't have that aggressive play style that I think you need in order to compete with some of these top teams. 4-0 start for Vanquished over Air Force 2. Cloud Fuel, I want to thank you for everything you've done so far. You've really been a big help uh, to Ben and I and the whole Rocket League community. We all appreciate your work. Uh, final predictions from you on the season, my friend. We're going to be closing it out next week. Who do you got in your top three of each division? So for Division 1, which includes Flipside, Swarm, Kings, Mad, Magic, and Perfect Storm, I'm going with uh, Flipside Swarm and Kings of Urban to be in, your top three it, out of that one. In, in that order? I would put it in that order. Swarm has come very close to beating Flipside, but they've yet to do it. Um, I think out of that division, if there was a team that could take out Flipside, it'd be Swarm, but I don't think it's going to happen at this time. 
Okay. I think Flipside still has just that narrow edge on them. And until Swarm takes that next step, I'm still going to put Flipside first. Okay. And then in Division 2, is it Cosmic Aftershock or VQ Untethered? It's the match next Thursday everyone's waiting for. Who do you think that's finishes on top? That's the big one. That's so great that that's, that's what we end the season on. Uh, it's a perfect match to end the season on, actually. Um, right now, Cosmic has the edge in the number of wins that they have, but they've played more games. So right. you have to kind of factor that in. So that 3-3 three, three with Supersonic Stars, I think, is going to make a really big difference if they are unable to get the edge with a 4-2, 5-1, or 6-0 against BQ Untethered. Personally, I think I'm going to go with Cosmic Aftershock, just because as of late, they've been absolutely on fire. VQ Untethered has taken a couple tournaments off, and I think that may affect them. But that, I mean, that if <laughs> if I could, I would give them 1A and 1B because they are that close, in my opinion. And then the third team, that's going to be a tough one because right now Supersonic Stars has the lead um, over Team Shizu. I don't see Air Force 2 competing for that third slot. Team Shizu looks pretty good when they look good, and then, you know, of course, last night they had that 1-5 that, that didn't go in their favor. But Supersonic Stars has also started looking good lately. So both teams are starting to kind of change their roster a little bit. And I think that's going to be a really interesting dynamic. Um, to put me on the spot, I would probably go with Team Shizu in third place. My final question for you, if you could put all six of your ducks on one team entering the playoffs, <laughs> who takes this thing, Cloud Fuel? Who wins Pro League Season 1? Oh, man. Well, put your cat on it too. Oh God! Put my cat on it. We we don't condone animal betting, though. Just as a <laughs> just as a just as a um, disclaimer. Wow. I mean, it it would come down obviously to who plays who win, because I think uh, you know if if Cosmic can get that number one seed and not have to play Kings early, uh, that would really help. But you know, just going out of those six teams, I know Cosmic's done it once before. I'd like to see him do it again. Um, I, I'd have a hard time pulling against him. I think Cosmic can do it. Sorry, I have a cough. My my Europeanness comes out. <laughs> you 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 can't say that word on camera, but <laughs> yeah, my Europeanness. Though Wait, I what? do think it'd be very close. I think oh. Flipside Swarm and and VQ are right there with them. I I have one one final question. We're gonna what, we're what, gonna have like the, 19 more final questions. What, 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 yeah, probably. I'll stay here all what, what are the name of the ducks? That is something. Yeah, which, the chat wants to know. Yeah, a couple of people have just tweeted me. What, what are the uh, name of the ducks? Okay, so we've we've had quite a few ducks. We actually had one. Unfortunately, we had to put down. Uh, it was actually a lame duck. Um, that is a term. Um, so that one was lucky. Unfortunately, that was a bad name because he was kind of unlucky. Um, Sorry, bud. We have. We have Bubbles. We have Fluffy. Yes. These are all my wife's animals. I yes. just want to reiterate These that. These are all your chat. animals. Come on. No. We know you named the them. Cat, the cats are mine. The turtle's mine. You have uh, a turtle as well? Yeah, I didn't mention the turtle. We also have two um, fire uh, something, fire bellied toads. They're actually kind of poisonous. Okay. Not super poisonous, but just kind of. How often my do kids, you lick them? Never. No. Good that's that's good my answer. wife and kids. They deal with that. Yeah. Um, don't let the kids lick them either. No. No. I don't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we got we got Fluffy Bubbles. Yeah, Fluffy Bubbles. Lucky, unfortunately, didn't make it. Okay. Um, we had Goose. That was me because I'm just trying to be funny naming a duck Goose. Fantastic. Um, I like that. And then we had three that unfortunately flew away. My wife thought they were not flying ducks, and they were flying ducks. So they <laughs> flew away. So we no longer have those three. <laughs> oh, um, this and that's, is the best story ever. Well, I mean, it's migration season, I guess. <laughs> Um, and their names were like goofy names. I can't really remember. My kids named them. It was like, I don't know, Sprinkly and Sprinkle this and Sprinkle that. It was a bunch of goofy names. That's what I like to hear. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so, so back to this incredible turtle of yours. Are we yeah. talking snapping turtle? Are we talking like fits in Benson's palm, which is quite wide? Or uh, uh, maybe how big is this turtle? There. It's, it's an Eastern Oriental box turtle. Um, could snap, not really known for snapping. Um, probably about yay big. So I mean, if you have a big, big enough palm, I guess could fit so in there. It, it would, it would sit in my palm, in, in my palm, right? Yeah, I mean, it would send a little bit past it, but yeah, I mean, how, how quick is it? How quick is it? Yeah, not very quick. No. I really want you to be like, it's a pretty big potato. No, I wanted to be like, yo, I have the speediest I wish, one in the planet. I wish. Unfortunately, no. It's, she I, put him on I the put treadmill. in there, and it's it's like the Hunger Games, but unfortunately, <laughs> she's not very fast. She's how how do all fast. the animals, like, coexist? Like, I imagine that's a, that's a, that's, that's a weird. dynamic. 
Can, can um, we see the, the, the turtle? I want to see it. That's a weird she's request. Well, she's actually all the way downstairs. Yeah, so. oh, you, you can't yeah, make so. Claude feel Next off time, the mic. You can interview me again, and I'll bring her for sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I want all there. six ducks in your lap oh, next time we put you um, on we're camera. We're going to have to do a GoPro for that, and we'll go outside. Yes. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, so the ducks are outside. Uh, the dog is inside. The cats are inside. They all live together happily. The turtles in her own aquarium cage thing, and so are the frogs. So they're kind of all segregated. The frogs and the turtle aren't together. Right? Yeah, you can no. Okay, the frogs were the poison the turtle. Yeah. So. Really? Yeah. yeah that's turtle would chow down and then have a bad time later. Yeah. <laughs> turtle would oh, man. Down. I've learned so much tonight. Some of it was about Rocket League. <laughs> Other was Cloud Fuel, a.k.a. Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> I love it, my friend. Much love to you, the family. And uh, thank you again for everything you've done. We're going to let you go here as we close out game number two. VQ on Tethered. Just slap it on him. 5-0. I'm going to be honest. Learning about Cloudfuel's pets was was probably the highlight of my evening. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It was, it was great. Right, Still is. Right now, VQ just completely dominating. And it's, it's, it's not pretty, Chris. 5-0, 30 seconds left. We kind of looked at this game and we said, you know, one play five. We start off with a one play five. I think it's 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 a fair assumption to assume VQ and Tether are gonna six out with this and you know Air Force two are gonna be 0 and eighteen. I think if they can win one game, I'm gonna be thrilled for them. I may actually throw them like a, a party. A party? Yep. I'm, what kind I'm of a party? Generous. I'm feeling, you know, very generous. Nine seconds left. Game over. It'd be a, it'd be a congratulations on winning your first game in the Pro League party. Alright, there we go. Best we party win. ever. Here's the score. Go. Waffle says, watch that replay before you go to bed. And Cloud Fuel, if you're still on, would love to give you a chance to, uh, shh, he's no longer here. He well, oh, oh, he's he here. He's still there. Ha ha, take that, production. Cloud Fuel, yes, sir. where can people find you? Where should they be checking out your work, my friend? Okay, um, I'm on Twitter, uh, at Cloud Fuel, um, also at Rocket LG Central. Uh, that's the Twitter for my website. I've actually teamed up with the rocket-league.com guys. So if you can go to rocket-league.com, you can find out all sorts of great stuff about the game and the scene. We try to stay on top of everything and put it out there for the fans. Excellent, dude. I just had a big glass of water. That was a big, big old chip mm. of water. Right there. I, I just really want to see the ducks. <laughs> Next that, week. That's like that's like my highlight. When I'm <laughs> when I'm out, Ben, you can. Yo, yeah, yeah you're not here. I can do whatever I want. You can do whatever you want. Yo, we're gonna have like ducks casting. It's gonna be the best <laughs> time <Yes>. ever. <laughs> we could do a, the quack off the quack featuring the quack. Benson. Oh man, uh, it's getting weird in here tonight, guys. Glad you're all joining us once again. That is Cloud Fuel. Check him out on Twitter at Cloud Fuel. Send him a message. Thank him for all of his hard work. And, of course, look forward to his future post on the Reddit for Rocket League. We're going into game number three. And, um, honestly, this one has been a 4-0, then a 5-0. Is this going to be a 6-0? I hope so. Can you imagine if they kept winning by one more goal every game? I can't. That would be like Illuminati. That would be crazy. Sometimes your circle button works. Other times your circle button doesn't work. Is your controller broken again? Right first? now, it don't work. <laughs> I can, there we go. We <laughs> like, had to switch players. It was like Tuesday. Oh no, was it yesterday when you're like, my, my controller doesn't work and I tapped circle once and it worked? Yeah, it's because I had to switch players for you before you hit that tap. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I think I'm figuring out how to unbug the broadcaster bugs. Yeah, good job, Chris. Thanks, man. See, meanwhile, I don't actually have to do anything. They, they made a tool which did my job perfectly. Yeah, it's. They replaced me. Ben actually just sets his controller down while I do all the first person screens. I can't wait. When I'm gone, you have to put all the effort in. It's fine. I'll make Rich do it. I'll oh, make, Rich I'll will make do Rich it. do it. Rich, okay. Rich loves doing stuff. Oh, Rich is the best at stuff. Those of you guys who don't know Rich Campbell because you don't work at Major League Gaming, Richard is our Rocket League project manager. He and is. also a caster now. He, he is now, yeah. Benson is training him. I, I am. I'm taking full credit in his brilliance. YouTube loved him. It's true. He had a YouTube comment. Someone was like, it's so refreshing to hear a new voice. Yeah, and he's really good. Yeah. Not valid. He's Sitting where good. he belongs inside the goal, and he's going to get some help from Dex9, but Pluto will punish both of them. Beautiful finish. Finds the bottom right corner. Three minutes, 22 still to go before we reach that three-game mark. I like Pluto's car. 
I also like his alpha hat. Let me see Pluto's car. Which one is Pluto's vehicle? There it's it is. this one right here. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Have you seen his hat? Whoa. Uh, Whoa what there, did, what did you keep the camera Whoa stick? there. What Look does that. it say? Alpha. alpha. It's a white. Or, sorry, it's a yellow hat with some sparkles on it. It goes with his daisy. Yeah, sparkles. Slash ginger man. Sparkles are cool. No hand with sparkles. Up in the air goes Timmy! Timmy with his first goal of the night. So the first goal of his... Air Force Two is on the board. The pass, beautiful. Dropped right in front of Tim Bob. 1-1. One, one. Three minutes left. Fair play to them. Making it interesting. If they steal a game here, this is going to be wonderful. Wonderful. Especially Cosmic Aftershock probably watching this praying yes. that somehow, some way, Air Force Two takes some games. Because if they do, that makes uh, the top of the Division Two a little bit more interesting, Chris. Dex9 set up that first play. Tim Bob, Dex9 can't finish. Aerial from not valid as he comes out of the goal. Now let's see how these boys handle it. Air Force 2 was one of the surprise squads here in the qualifier. They went on a bit of a run. Since then, they've been very quiet in Pro League. Lots of struggles. This game, though, they're all tied up. 2.30 to go. Lachino threatening, but not scoring. Waffle. Tries to put that one back in. Lucinio sets up Pluto. Oh, Pluto wow. Back of the net. Hit that woman. So much force. How much force? 64 miles per hour amount of force. So much force. Boom. Slam cam. Dex9 gets dunked on, essentially. 2 1. <laughs> we love that. Ben's breaking things in I, the I'm studio not again. Things. It's fine. I, I, I just nudged it gently. I, I have a sippy cup, so I can no longer spill water everywhere. We made Ben put a lid on if you wanted to have water in the studio. I mean, it does make sense after what happened last time. I do the same thing with my four-year-old niece. Really? being compared to your four-year-old niece? Yeah, she's better looking. Wow. There's a shot I mean, on she's goal. She's four. Of course she's better looking. All, all four-year-olds are, are cute. And all right, so pedophile. Just really? kidding. So Inappropriate. Really? It's getting weird. Over to Tim Bob. Who <laughs> says the producer, Dex9, setting Timmy up again. Oh. This time Pluto says, get it out of here. Can you imagine if somehow Air Force won a game against BQ? Yeah. Is it going to happen? Maybe. Game six? Game six. Would you like to place a bet? No. I bet, I bet you $10. It doesn't happen. I'll double that and then keep the same bet for you. $20 it doesn't happen. Well, what if I said, I will bet you, it, 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 if they do win, I will pay for like your honeymoon. If they don't win, you have to pay for something for me. <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the odds? It, like, what, what are the odds in your mind? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like full paid honeymoon. Full paid Chipotle. honeymoon versus Chipotle <laughs> double steak and guac. Wow, double steak and guac. Oh, okay, upgrade right. it to a thirteen ninety nine spend. What about chips and drink? You're pushing it, <laughs> but I feel like the odds are great. <laughs> oh, Pluto to Lachino to Waffle. There was no Lachino. No, no, Lachino was no one near the ball. Sorry. It's fine. This I'm like half casting at this point. This, oh, God, they almost scored no Oh, goal. yeah! You, just, you can't just... You Boo. Can't, you can't just scream loud noises. And, and yeah! No, that's not how it works. <laughs> goal! 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 It worked last night. <laughs> oh, it did. I wonder if it'll work again. Waffle. Yeah. Say goal. No, you gotta wait for Pluto to get up close. And then you yell, goal. No, too soon, Ben. Sorry, you have to wait for Pluto. Pluto ain't ready to strike. Is he ready now? He's getting closer. Now he's ready. He's ready now. Go, 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 go. There's no more goals. Uh, 11 seconds left. Full clid. Full one. Untethered. Are comfortably going to go three. Oh my goal! god. Goal! Goal! Waffle! Goal! Yay! 5 1. Vafele. Another one bites the dust. Zavafel. Zalashino. All right. That was fun. 3 0. Cruising. We're not even going to switch hosts. 
now. Stand in Mark and Seva. That's right, but we will take a short commercial break, guys. We'll be right back. Game number four, Pluto, seven shots, four goals. Fantastic game three. On the other side, you did see Tim Bob get the first goal of the night for Air Force Two. We'll see if they can mount a few more coming into the next one.